This is James Holder for IFL TV in association with Macklin's Jim Marbao. We're in Las Vegas, Nevada. With me, I've got IBF bantamweight champion Randy Cavallero, head of his defense against Lee Haskins. How are you feeling, Randy, mate? I feel good, ready to go, anxious to get back inside that ring. Okay. It's been a long time, a whole year out the ring. And uh, I just want to get back inside and, and show the world of boxing, you know, why I'm the IBF Bantamweight World Champion. You won the title, as we spoke about before, beating Stewie Hall in Monte Carlo. Great result for yourself. You've been inactive since injury since then because of a assist on your leg, I do believe. Yes. It your was movement assist. now, everything's back to normal and you feel, you feel like you're reaching your, your peak, so to speak. Oh, definitely. I feel better than ever. I think this training camp went amazing. My body feels really good. I'm just anxious to get back. It's just, you know, being off for so long, watching some great fights that Golden Boy puts together, yes. it's really tough. But you know what? Like I said, this training camp went amazing, and I just can't wait to get back inside and uh, keep that belt wrapped around my waist. How confident are you that you'll be victorious against Lee Haskins? You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm confident. That's, that's the main thing to do, but I'm not overlooking him, though. You know, I'm not taking anything away from him. He is my mandatory for a reason. You know, he worked his butt off to get where he's at, yeah. and uh, I'm not taking anything away from him. But you know what? That's my night to shine. It's my night to, to show people why I'm the IBF Bantamweight World Champion and why I'm going to keep it that way. I spoke to your dad, it must be two and a half years ago now. He told me, listen, my boy's going to be world champion. <laughs> you need to start making time for him and getting him on your channel. He's going to be big. But you wasn't there. We got your dad on, we had a chat with him and stuff, and lo and behold, his prediction came right. You're now standing here as a world champion. You know what? His prediction came right because of him because of what he's done inside that gym for me, all the, the, the push that he gave me throughout my career, the times when I was younger, then I said, man, this sport's not for me, it's a tough sport. But he kept pushing me forward to, to keep doing it. You know, his dream to become a world champion, my older brother's dream to become a world champion, never got to happen. I told myself, you know what? I'm gonna win this world title for my family. My, my, my dad that's always wanted to win a world title, my brother, you know, my, my, my younger brother coming up, you know, to open doors for him so he can just walk through that path and, and, and let people know who he is because he's, an, he's a sensation fighter right now. People love to watch him. He's only 16, 132 pounds. Yes. So you can imagine, you know, what's, com what's coming his way right now. And uh, we're just ready to show people, you know, Team Caballero is ready to show, showcase our talent in boxing. Let's talk a little bit about your younger brother. You mentioned him. What What is his first name? Romel Caballero. Okay, okay. From what I'm hearing, he seems like a very talented young fighter. How long do you reckon until we see him in the pay breaks? You know what, right now, you know, he wants to turn, his, he's anxious to turn pro. You know, he's a young kid that just thinks about money and he wants to turn pro. But I told him, you know what, take your time. Enjoy, enjoy amateurs, travel a little bit. You know, in amateurs, you get to travel. Enjoy it, travel, Fighting travel the world. Well, yeah, definitely. The let, let, let the sport of boxing know who you are in the amateurs. And once, it, once, once you turn pro, that's where the money comes in because they know you're an amateur sensation. You know, and that's when the money starts kicking in, and that's what I want. Especially at his weight class, they make a lot more money than we do at, at our weight class. But uh, you know what? Like I said, he's hurting people. You know, people that he spars, even pros, that he's stopping them, dropping them. I mean, that kid is is something else. I think he just he just bottled in everything from all of us. You know, there's four boys: my older brother, me, and there's a younger one, and then there's him. So I think he just took took in everything from everybody and just kept it. And now he's the most. I think I would say he's the most talented out of all of us. You meant, last but not least, you mentioned there's not that much money in the sort of the bantamweight division, but now you're world champion. Surely your purses have got to be getting a lot oh, better. They, they are getting better. They are, and I'm ready to make a lot more money. You know what? Um, after what everybody knows, Chocolatito did. You know, everybody's now talking about the smaller weight classes. You know, other fighters that are coming up at our weight classes. You know, we're making a noise now. So now people are going to want to pay money to watch us fight. You know, stuff like that. So. I'm glad and I'm just here to, to set a name for our, 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 our weight classes to let people know that we are action-packed fights. Listen, I'm not going to take up too much of your time. We've got the press conference just about to begin. I can't thank you enough for coming to IFL TV. It's a great pleasure to get you on again, sir. And uh, I look forward to a great, enjoyable fight come Saturday. Thank you. Hopefully everybody out there watches this fight. You're not going to want to miss an action-packed fight. I want to make sure the title stays wrapped around my waist. I'm sure Lee Askins will have something different to say about that. <laughs> but we again, really appreciate you talking to IFL TV. Thank you, Randy.